Good, Good morning. morning from the Messy Hair Club. Yep. If you don't have messy hair in the morning, you you're didn't doing sleep. something wrong. What's today? Wednesday? Yep. It's Wednesday today. So now Brian and Caitlin are going to do treatment. Okay. So Caitlin just turned one. And ever since we've learned chess PT and have been doing it, little baby bum is the secret to getting her to chill out and do treatment. So, pro tip right there. Just kidding. I'm not a pro parent or a pro CF parent, but it's worked for us. First we're doing, she's got to do two puffs from her albuterol inhaler, but we do them one minute apart. So now she just gets to sit and try and chew on her inhaler. And why do we do the albuterol? So we're opening up her airways, so the first puff opens them up a little bit, and the second puff will open them up even more so that when she does her nebulizer next, it can really get deep down in the lungs and be able to break up that, any mucus that may be there. Right now it may just be preventative, but we don't really know, we just do it anyways. So, gotta build that habit. Finish her second puff. Now we're getting started on our nebulizer. Start on the refrigerator. But this box of 30 vials is over $3,000. And they come in these little things. So one of these costs over $100. Crazy, right? Uh, but Pormazyme is cool because did you know that mucus has DNA? I didn't know that until cystic fibrosis. But basically this medicine goes in to the lungs and the mucus that's in the lungs and basically cuts the DNA strands that attaches the mucus to the lungs. Makes it easy for, for it to fall off and then a chest production therapy pounds it out and they can cough it out. doing now so we're on her second spot in her chest PT or percussion therapy so now if there is any mucus in her lungs we're basically knocking it loose so that after we're done she would be able to cough it up or throughout she'd be able to cough and be able to get more of that mucus out easier because now that homozyme has had a chance to get in there and cut the DNA like Candace was talking about of the mucus and just help break it up so that this can loosen it up more. Fun stuff. But Caitlin is such a good little girl about it when she gets to watch Baby Bum that it's just bonding time now. Hi Goober. letting Caitlin eat breakfast and the only reason that we don't do that first thing in the morning before treatment is if she eats first and then does treatment then she has to wait about an hour so that with all that moving around and beating on her chest it I mean it's gonna shake her stomach up and we don't want her to be throwing up everything she just ate so we've figured out that she will she's been patient enough to let us hurry and do treatment first thing in the morning and then she gets big breakfast and everyone it just makes it easier for everyone in the morning so. and then she apparently has something to say you're so cute I'll show be lounging out on dada is that good breakfast yeah delicious
snowed last night, as you can see. It's like about an inch, two inches. It's so pretty. We just need more. So this time of year is especially precarious for us. Well, mostly for Caitlin, our little CFer, because right now, in at least in this state, it's flu season, and where Caitlin, like she got. She was able to get the flu shot this year because she was old enough, but still, like her immune system is highly susceptible to other people's bugs. Because for cystic fibrosis patients, a small cold to you can put Caitlin in the hospital if she catches your cold. At the very least, it, if Caitlin does catch a cold, that entails antibiotics, extra treatments, just a lot more work and it hurts their lungs. And so we try to be careful and don't go around crowded places too much this time of year. Last year, when she was just newborn, itty bitty, and it felt like we never left the apartment. But that's what you're, and that was before we even knew she had CF, just with the newborn baby. You gotta be careful when they're born in the winter because they can get all sorts of diseases from people. Hey. Mama's here. Hi. I'm here now. First I die. Medium? Just small. Okay. Someone stinks really bad. So now I'm going to show you how I disinfect and sterilize Caitlin's uh, baser. So first I take them apart and then put them in a basin of super hot water with soap. Next I'm going to shake them around get them all washed off. Now I'm going to rinse them off and put them in the sterilizer. Okay then. Bye bye sweetheart. Bye bye Dada. <laughs> She's like, yay, he's leaving. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Don't you find it silly that she was just laughing? Yeah. Okay, love you. Love you too. Bye, Caitlin. Okay, so next, I'm going to put a fresh paper towel down in here because this is where we put all of her stuff to air dry. I use a clean towel every time. Yep. No point in sterilizing if we're not going to do it right. Alright, and I've got all of her cups loaded up in the sterilizer. I'm going to put her inhaler in here, or her spacer, because this does not go in the sterilizer. Because it will ruin the static, I don't know, something with the chamber. It screws it up so that the medicine doesn't get delivered properly. Okay, so now we're going to just put this on the sterilizer. So when we use distilled water in here to prevent hard water, and... I know that there are a few ways to sterilize, like boiling or alcohol, I believe. I don't know, there's a few methods, but this is just what we decided to go with because it's easiest for us. So I use the Philips Event Bottle Sterilizer. It works great. It was like $60 and it works fabulously. So. There's a little bit more insight into CF and the reason why we do this is because we have to keep her uh, equipment sterile because bacteria loves to grow in warm, moist places, i.e. Nep nep cups. So we don't want her to be doing breathing treatments and breathing in infection, right? So the first step with the hot water and soap, that's disinfecting. And then the second step is sterilizing. You like planet Earth? 
It's good, huh? Yeah. Hi, Bulger. Okay. Now, the last step to sterilizing nib cups is I'm going to take all of them out of here and put them up here to air dry. It's all out of the sterilizer and in the cupboard. Now, we will make Miss Caitlin's lunch. Yay! Yay! Clap! Clap, 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 clap! Yeah! Good job. So, Caitlin has learned how to point. Look. What's over there? Over there. <laughs> and Caitlin is in a different outfit because let's just say we had a poop catastrophe. It was disgusting. A bath for this little one right here. Her favorite. She loves the bath, huh? Motorcycle, so you don't have a This is one of Caitlin's favorite songs. And guess what time it is? Feeding time. I mean, treatment time. Hey guys, I'm home. Just got home from work a little bit ago and had a chance to sit down and help Caitlin start eating her last meal of the day of the day so that she can go to sleep full and Candace and I were talking and we were trying to figure out who we think is watching our videos because there's not very many people that are watching them but I'm curious about who actually is so maybe leave a comment for us let us know who you are how you found our videos yeah, I just think it'd be cool to find out. So, I wanted to point out the mess that I walk in the door to. And this is actually partly cleaned up. But Caitlin over there, you can tell that she's playing all night and just makes a giant mess, huh, Caitlin? Caitlin? Hey. Hi. She won't look at me because she knows that I'm going to clean her toys up. <laughs> yes. Caitlin, who's that? Uh, she needed that. Yeah. You hit me with your monkey. Gag <laughs> We're done. So don't forget, write in the comments who you are and how you found us. We're really curious. Or just say hi. That too. Just comment hi. Okay, good night. <laughs>